Today for our math strategies video, we're going to be talking about understanding angles. Just like squares and rectangles are geometric shapes, angles are another type of geometric shapes. They are formed by two lines, rays, or line segments that meet at a common point, and that common point is called a vertex. And there are different types of angles. There's an acute angle, which would be an angle less than 90 degrees. A right angle is an angle that measures exactly 90 degrees. And an obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than 90, but still less than 180 degrees. Okay, so let's take a look at another way to look at these angles within a circle. So this is an acute angle within a circle, a right angle, and an obtuse angle within a circle. Okay, if we completely fill that circle it is called a full angle. That full angle would be 360 degrees. Okay, so an angle that is exactly 360 degrees is that full angle. So there are 360 one degree angles in a circle. So let's take a look at a fraction of a circle and see if we can determine its angle measure. So here we have a circle and it is broken up into three parts and one part is shaded. So we have one third of the circle is shaded. It also shows a turn through one third of the circle or one third of 360 degrees. In order to determine the angle measure, we would have to multiply one third by 360 to get 120 degrees. So this green shaded area has an angle measure of 120 degrees, making it an obtuse angle. Let's take a look at another example. Okay, we have our fraction circle here, and we know that 1 6th is shaded. It also shows a turn through 1 6th of a circle, or 1 6th of 360 degrees. So when we multiply 1 6th by 360, we get 60 degrees. So in this particular circle, this angle measure is 60 degrees. So let's take a look at our very last one that we're going to do today. We see here one is shaded again. It's one ninth that is shaded and that's one ninth of 360 degrees. So I would multiply one ninth by 360 getting 40 degrees. So in this case and in this circle, the angle measure is 40 degrees, which means it's an acute angle. So as you begin to work with angles, think about the connections between angle measures and the fractions of a circle.